What's up guys? Heath Pettigrew here at Flow Headquarters here to do some match breakdowns. First, we're gonna break down Jacob Couch versus Roberto Jimenez back in the Who's Number One mega tournament. Jacob Couch came in as a late replacement to go against Roberto, who was the number two ranked 185 at the time. In the last day, we got the call from Michael Sears, I think two or three days out. Couch had like a 30 pound weight cut and he came in as a major underdog. This was kind of the, the breakout thing for the Hillbilly Hammer. So uh, we're gonna break this match down. Check it out. Hold on, peoples. Oh, space bar? The Hill Billy Hammer, Jacob Couch of Pedigo Submission Fighting, hailing from Hazard, Kentucky, now based in Mount Vernon, Illinois, given the chance of a lifetime here to come and compete in the Who's Number One Championship middleweight division as a last minute alternate. Couch, for the first time, it's like he was really, really nervous, but uh, I, I think like right as Roberto was walking out, you know, we had like watched this guy and uh, you know, he, he's always been a couple belts ahead of Couch. Couch had just, I think recently, I think he had just gotten his brown belt. Like maybe he had been promoted like one month before this. So I think we finally got through his head that it was like, you know, of course, you know, I don't like when people say you have nothing to lose because you always have something to lose the match. You know what I mean? And then uh, what winning will do for you. But, you know, coming in as the underdog, it's like, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, you just can kind of get it in. So we knew that Roberto, could possibly be leg locked. So we didn't have, like, we didn't think we would have any problems getting in to the leg lock position, but uh, we knew that Roberto could chase the back uh, off that, you know, he had matches with Dante. He's got huge wins over, you know, pretty much everybody in the game. And at this time he was like, uh, you know, and he still is. I mean, the, the guy's a, a, a wrecking machine, but uh, anyway, so uh, couch pulls right off, the, right off the bat. That was the plan. Couch is usually pretty good at sticking to the game plan, but, uh, uh, you know, Roberto, Roberto's one of those guys, it's like he is, moves around so much that one second you have him in a bad position, the next minute he's on your back. But uh, we're already like uh, 15 seconds into the match and Couch has Roberto in the hill hook here. And um, he's, he's attacking the hill, he's got a really, really good bite. And Roberto is kind of starting to slip and possibly t take the back here. So we know that uh, these guys, if they can get their hips underneath you, which actually in episode two, of the Daisy Fresh, Mikey Musumichi talks about chasing the back off of the heel hook attempt. So it's a really, really good, check that out if you get a chance. It's really cool how he takes the back. But uh, that's the new big thing. The, the Rotulos kind of made this popular in this tournament, uh, chasing the back off of the heel hook attempt. But uh, Couch, Couch has him here in a really, really, really tight thing. We had actually heard Roberto's leg, his knee and ankle pop like <clears throat> off of the first attempt. So we knew that he would, like, wouldn't tap tap easy and that couch had to just kind of stay on it and just not get his back chased. Right right here, That's th this is the closest I think Roberto comes to actually uh, getting on couch's back. And we knew that we had to switch from, uh, from, from the outside position into the inside position. He has a really, really, really good bite here. And uh, you know, uh, keeping, Roberto has thin legs too. Not only is he like extremely and aggressively uh, moving all the time, he's like, Kind of thin, so it's like he's like slip out, and uh, he's kind of like you know, not slip really, like uh, you know, uh, literally just figuratively. But um, so Couch is in on the inside bite right here. Roberto's fighting the hands. Um, Roberto's in really, really, really big trouble, and uh, he actually stands from the hill position here, and he he, he gets tapped. Uh, I'm not sure why he stood. I actually felt like he should have tapped when he was on the ground because it was so so tight. And I think it might have damaged his knee a little bit, which Couch would never want to do, but um, you know, that's the way it goes. But so when Couch comes over, we are like so, so excited, you know, it's like we felt like he could win. And when we heard that we were going to go against Roberto first, we were, uh, we were excited because we thought that this is a match that maybe Couch could, could uh, you know, could, could win. But uh, Anyway, it's uh, the number two guy, and this was kind of like how Jacob Couch made it onto the scene, man. And uh, like I said, th this is what the first Daisy Fresh episode is about. So you can kind of check that out and get more of like the, the inside feelings and what's going on like behind the stages and all that stuff. But uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, it was a really, really big moment for us and in, in, in Jacob Couch's career, man. And uh, like hats off to Roberto. He's always, you know, always the man, you know, if, if he didn't lose to Couch that he could have won the whole thing possibly. So again, you can check this out on March 29th. That's the debut of the, or the premiere premiere is cooler than debut uh premiere of uh, season three and like i said it's all the behind the scenes stuff from who's number one if you've ever wondered what that's like to be back there you know not just watching the matches so much goes into this it's definitely something you should check out you can get all the like you know all, all the, the inside scoop from watching that so march 29th 
Premier, see you guys there.